What's going on, my peoples and my peoples to be? This is Conrad Carr from Ill Digital Content, and this is another episode of the Get to the Point, damn it. <laughs> Get to the Point Reviews. And uh, as you all know, I unboxed a iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I finally got a case for it because actually Apple Store kind of let me down. I did not like their selection at all. So I went to my old standby, which is Amazon, and picked up the ESR protective phone case for my phone. So we're going to open this bad boy up, try it on the phone, and see what's good. All right? Dang! All right, my people, so let's get to it. The ESR protective uh, phone case. So let's see what's in here. All right. I don't want any childproof in this damn thing. I'm saying. Nights like this, I wish raindrops would fall. Nights like this, I wish raindrops would fall. All right, let's see what's in here. All right. For my new iPhone. Okay, nothing else in here. Black. All right. Ooh, that's like serious Chinese writing. Wow. Okay, well, something in English is in there, but okay. All good. The new economy. So, let's see. Instructions. Instructions. All right. So, this is not an expensive case. This only cost me probably less than 20 bucks. But, you know, I just needed something for my iPhone. And let's see here. Okay. So simple. It doesn't have three layer protection. Uh, what this is, is basically just one piece. The sides are like a little bit like silicone, but it's not as soft as silicone. It's, um, it's a little harder. Um, you can see the little buttons there where they have the little indentations on the other side. So where it's intended to hit the buttons on the other side, we're gonna see. But this is what I came for, the metal stand. Um, trying to see which way it operates. Probably if the camera is supposed to be there, the stand probably comes out. If the camera is supposed to be there, I'm sure the stand probably goes like this. You know, so also if you're watching videos, it'll probably be, you know, like this. So let's see if I get this stand. Ah, Yahtzee. Oh, okay. That stand is embedded in there because there's a little piece of plastic I guess there that the stand goes underneath so that looks pretty sturdy I thought it was going to be attached at one end with a little pin stuff like that and I figured okay it's going to break eventually I mean this might but it's still it's, it's a sturdier construction than I thought it would be you know being that it's actually braced underneath the unit itself so and it's adjustable it's real like sticky it's not loosey-goosey it's like it has adjustability so like, if you wanted it more upright, I mean, you could. If you wanted it to be more flat, you could. And that, that's as far as it goes, you know, like that. That's as far as it goes. But, you know, you could make it as upright as you want. Oh, it doesn't push from the back because that's solid all the way through. So, this could also stand up the other way too. So, if you wanted to stand this up like that, you could to watch your phone in the uh, portrait mode. So very cool. So you could either stand like that or you could stand like that. Pretty cool. All right, let me plug up the GoPro real quick and show you what it is to install this onto the iPhone 12 uh, Pro Max. Here's the case, here's the phone. Quite simple, it doesn't have any screen coverage. It's basically just the back part. So what we're gonna do is, well, I'm not even gonna follow instructions. I'm just gonna pop it in there. Cause I'm assuming that's how it goes. You just pop it in. And yeah, simple as that. That was like what, three seconds? 
And as soon as I got it in there, the buttons work the way they're supposed to. Um, let me open this bad boy in my face real quick. Okay, so yeah, volume button works the way it's supposed to, responsive. The home button works the way it's supposed to. Okay, um, portrait mode, it holds the phone the way it's supposed to. You gotta be careful. It don't take much to flip this thing over. You just you if, if you you couldn't do this on a bus or a train or anything like that. I mean, you just tap it a little bit. That bad boy's falling over. Now, if you put it in landscape mode, it's a different situation. It's not gonna fall over. It's pretty sturdy. Um, you put it more upright, it becomes a little less unstable. All right, see, so it won't even stay up like that actually. So there's a limit to how upright you can make it. Uh, but basically, pull it back all the way, and that's that's comfortable viewing for me because typically up until this point, if I was watching the video, you're basically lying flat down like that. Not really a comfortable way to uh, look at it, and uh, you know you prop it up on something, and this phone because it's metal, it slides across everything. So you, it's damn near impossible to like you know you wanted to prop it up against a bottle of Frank's. Like, at least with this with the rubber. You can prop it up or something and it's not going to slide now because it's a rubbery silicone case, you know, but <laughs> now that you got the stand, good to go. So for a few bucks, I think I spent like maybe 12 or 15 bucks for this. Uh, I forgot the exact price. Um, not a bad deal for a minimal amount of coverage. Like I said, there's no screen coverage, so there's not, you know, the... I could invest in a uh, screen coverage if I wanted to, but I doubt, well, I might. But for now, I just wanted something simple for now until I find what I really, really want. Um, still got access to the uh, off screen on the side. So for the money, the kickstand, it still shows the beauty because this phone is very beautiful. I don't want anything that's really gonna hide the color of the phone. Um, like I said in the unboxing of the phone, it's like a piece of jewelry. I mean, this this phone is probably the most beautiful phone they've ever released. I mean, it is gorgeous. Um, and this case um, allows that gorgeousness, you know, to, 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 to shine through, all right? I mean, look at that. The original luster is all still there and now got a little kickstand too to go with it so it's cool and the gang my peoples so now that I got the case on let's see if it'll still fit into my cell phone holder attachment I actually hate working with these things they stare they're so quirky you really got to be careful when you're using these things but let's see, well, let's just turn the screen off, shall we? Yahtzee, all right. And it still fits, all right? Actually, it is. these things offer a little more room because you can still, if I can pull it, okay, let me pull from this side, yeah. You can still, there's still more space to give. Uh, if I can show you that. Yeah, so it has a little more give. So it will still work with your cell phone uh, attachments. So yeah, so for the money, this is pretty good. Simple protection. Like I said, there's no front screen, screen protection, but um, it's a little bit raised here for the camera to slip. So, you know, if you rest it down flat, it will protect the lenses and slightly raise the round the screen. So if you place it down, turn it just a little bit. Yeah, the screen is not gonna touch the ground. If you put it this way, the camera is not gonna touch the, the surface either. So pretty good. This is your boy Conrad Card. This is a get to the point reviews. I don't know if I got to the point quick enough in this one, but I'm always striving to get better at what I do. Till the next time we meet my peoples, go shop.
see here. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, a little grippy grip. Oh, oh, look at, see, almost fucked up. $1,400, look at that shit. 